Hi everybody and uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create your first C++ programs. In the first step, we're going to download a compiler. And on step two, I will tell you about how the programs is structured. And for more tips, you can visit smcdo.blogspot.com. Okay, let's start it. Let's go to Google. Google.com. Now here we tap download, download, download code blocks. If you use Windows 8, you choose Windows 8, but I'm using Windows 7. So download code block and OK. Here I download the code blocks. And uh, I'll choose the download the binary release. If you want, you can download the source code or the retrieve source code for SVN. All right, for this tutorial, we'll download the, download the binary code, the binary release. I'm using Windows 7. And uh, so I'll choose this one depending on your operating system. So, we yeah, so. Note that this is for Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and 7. So in a previous tutorial, I'll show, I'll show you how to download the code blocks 13. This one doesn't, doesn't have the, the compiler. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to have a compiler directly so you don't have to download twice. So we're going to choose this time the, this release. So I'm going to click on this. And then uh, the download should start in three seconds, two seconds, one second. All right, so now your download will start in four seconds. One second, boom, there is click run. And then this will take um, about one minute remaining. So. I'm gonna pause the video and come back. All right, bye. Yeah, now I'm back and uh, it's two seconds, one second remaining, 97 check. Yep, the download completed. So let's double click it to open it. And uh, click yes. Click next read the terms and agree and uh, click yes see this time I have we have the compiler included and uh, yes install so this might take a couple of seconds five to ten seconds depending on uh, how fast your computer is it So this will this um, basically extract extract all files. So you don't have to extract yourself anymore. Makes life easier. So let's see what's come next. After the extraction is complete. Do you want to run code blocks now? Yes. And then let's see what what we have. Yeah, so it says uh, can find compiler in your configure search part so let me go to settings and then let's go to compiler and then from here let's go to tool chains and uh, let's try to locate our compiler it says auto detect auto detected insta installation part of gnu gcc compiler okay all right, now I have my compiler, press OK. 
now I'm ready to start my first code so you can come here it says create a new project so and uh, open your console application here and uh, you can skip it I like to leave this one like that so now you can choose either C or C++ program well for future videos I'll show you how to code in C for now on I'll, for this video you're gonna be starting coding in C++ so I choose C++ and create next in this I create my first project name so I call it my first C++ program that's too long my my first code and then uh, it says folder to create your project so you need to create a project file so I go to computer here I can create right click Oh, the, the easiest way I'm gonna create it on my folder here so I'm gonna create a new folder and then I call this folder C++ program and then I double click on it and then click OK now I directed the folder to C++ program and I close next finished and then now you have to open your source file and here we have the main.cpp and there we go if you want to run this code you just press this it will run the code and you will see output hello world yeah you create your first C++ program okay now let me explain you the code well this default default font size is too small let me put a little bit bigger so go to settings go to editors okay choose and here we choose 14 as a font size so this one will be great so click ok you can change the color too if you want but i'll keep everything default just the font size 14 and click ok and click ok there is now we have a big and um, font size okay let me delete this and tr explain to you what all this means all right first pound include i IO stream what is this mean okay to write uh, a comment just put double 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 backslash one two and then you have now the pound symbol the pound symbol means to call the pre processor so this will call the pre processor that's the pound symbol now the inc the include the include means to tell to tell the pre processor to include everything everything okay i'm gonna put this one a little bit smaller so i can everything everything that everything that follows that follows now what follows what follows okay now what follows it's I will stream I will stream so what's I will stream mean I will stream mean the input the I mean the in the input the input sorry the input O O means the output 
so basically this style this says please pre pre preprocessor include the input and output stream which is the stream from the input and output so you will receive this and um, the stream will, will be used by the console output which is C out so I'm uh, I guess you understand this now let's go next after that we need to include the main function so you, you write int main and open parentheses and close it so basically this this is this 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 is this is the function this is the function man note note that in note that every every C programs has has the main function has the main function okay has the main functions so now what is a function well a function a function is a block of code that performs one that perform one two three and many more action that's the definition of the function so now in this code it says int man now after the int man you need to open a brace and when you open the brace you need to close the brace well these code blocks do that automatically now what is the brace means so basically it says every function begin with the open brace and close with the closing brace so whatever will be inside here will be your main code okay everything that will display on the screen will be including included here so now we need to create a output so C out which is the console output this is mean the console C means C console output and it says to the, the compiler to run hello world basically this will return hello world on your screen so all right so we have so we have the uh, hello world or oh, let me put exclamation point here now if I if I if I run this this code will give me an error let me let let's see I run this an error why because it says here error C out was not declared in this scope in order to declare this C out the console output you need to add the STD which tell that there's a standard file that has to be included so this will allow the C out to run your code and um, there's the easiest way to do is just to write here just to import this C out here but in later tutorial I'll tell you the trick for now write std c out and hello world so and then let's write another statement std c out i am happy to code in c plus plus okay and then let's close this okay there's another way you can close it by end line this way and uh, this is the same like this for easy clean code you should use end line so let me run this 
it gave me an error it says end line was not declared in this code so for this now i'm just gonna delete this and run it yeah hello world i am happy to code in c plus there is you finally complete the first tutorial in how to download a compiler and run understand your first code hope this was helpful for you if you have any comment please leave below and uh, please don't forget to subscribe thank you and see you next time bye